Now let's get started. So we have a question right here. So application of integration. You see the integration that you solve all the time? So we can also apply. How? Let's say you have a curve. Uh, let's say, okay. Let's say you have a curve like this. Let's say you have two curves. Okay, let's assume the face curve is straight line. And then also, let's say you have a quadratic. So with the integration, we find the area enclosed, like this area enclosed between the two curves. Which curve? Straight line. Let's say this is y equal to x. And let's say this is y equal to uh, um, 2x minus x squared. So we want to find the area enclosed between these two curves, means this area here. So we can use integration of these two graphs to get the area enclosed. So the area of the region bounded by those two curves. Now let's see. So there's a different type of region, for example, for the first question is more the exponential and straight line. Now let's see now how we can find that area enclosed between the curve using the integration or how we can apply the integration to get the area enclosed between the curve. Uh, let's have the first question. They say here, uh, find the area of the region bounded above by y equal to and below y equal to x where from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. Okay, so let me just draw a simple illustration here. Okay, so y equal to x. Okay, so first and foremost, you want to get, uh, excuse my problem. You want to get, uh, you want to know where it's going to intersect at x. This graph, okay, so our graph y equal to x, y equal to e power x. Now let's find the x intercept. When x intercept, y equal to 0 means it's like 0 e power x, okay? e power x. So for that case, means to get x means log of 0, and this must be log of e power x. This x is going to come to the back. Log of e equal to 1, so it's like log of 0 equal to. Uh, x because log of e equal to log of e equal to 1. So for that case, you, we know for a fact log of 0 is undefined, it's error. So this graph is not going to cut at x axis, means we don't have x intercept. Let's find the y intercept. When y intercept x equal to 0, means you're going to plug here 0. e power 0 equal to 1, oh, so the graph is going to cut it here. But at the graph of exponential is like this, a nature of graph exponential. Okay, so this is e power x graph and the other graph y equal to x y equal to x means it's going to cut here so this graph is going to be like this y equal to x this is y equal to x but remember uh, we want to get the area close between the, the two curves so the area close means going to be the area here in between so just, uh, let's do this so this is like changing x let's take a little strike here by changing x. You see what I'm saying? So for that case now, we're going to say the formula to get the area enclosed between to the graph, two graph or two curve, equal to integral where the graph starts, okay? So where they enclosed, they say here start from x equal to zero. x equal to zero. You know what? For the most case, when the graph intersect, they're not going to give you the starting point and the final point. But for this case, they just give it to you because this graph did not intersect. The second example, especially the last example, make sure you watch until the end because this is the most crucial example. We use absolute. So now for this case, since the graph did not intersect, that's what I have given to you. Start from x equal to zero, zero to x equal to one. Okay, now take upper graph. Always you take the top graph and then you minus the lower graph. For this case, the lower graph equal to x because you say top graph minus lower graph equal to x and then integrate. So what we can do now is say integral equal to, so we can separate, we can say integral of e power x, start from 0 to 1 and then dx, and then integrate 0 to 1 and then x dx. So when you integrate this, it's going to give you the same thing, ex, and then when you integrate this, it's going to give you x squared over 2 power root. Start from 0 to 1, so now upper limit minus lower limit. If we substitute 1 here, this is going to be e power 1, Minus, if you substitute 1, it's going to be 1 square equal to 1, it's going to be a half. But e power 1 equal to e. Minus, lower limit, take 0, substitute here. So e power 0 equal to 1, minus. Now, if you plug here, 0 is going to be 0 square over 2 equal to 0. So finally, this is going to be negative 1. So 1 minus 0 equal to 1. 1 minus 0 equal to 1. Okay, negative a half, minus 1. 
negative half minus one equal to three over two negative. So it's like three over two negative, or you can say 1.5 negative. So this can be say e minus three over two, or you can say uh, simply it's e minus 1.5. So unit square, you know why? Because this is an area. So we're gonna say this is the unit square. Unit or square. Means it could be centimeter square, meter square, kilometer square, millimeter square. That's what we call it, or we say unit square. Now let's go to the question number two. Question number two is easy. Uh, make sure you watch until the last question. The last question is very, very important. Every question is important, but the last question is you find the area and then you have to involve the absolute. You have to involve the absolute. Let me go fast a little bit. Okay, find the area of the region enclosed by the parabola y equal to x squared and y equal to x. Okay, so first and foremost, let's do an illustration. You see now, they did not give you the starting point and final point. So I'm going to say now, let's do an illustration here. Okay, so the first one y equal to x squared. So we know this is going to be concave upward. And the second one is going to be y equal to 2x minus. Okay, so, okay, so this is going to be, oh, my God, like this. Yeah, it's going to make a lot of sense. Okay, y equal to x squared, so this is y equal to x squared. The second one uh, is y. Let me show you, uh, y equal to x minus x squared. So I can take x out here. If I can take x, first and foremost, look, I'll do it like this. So it's gonna be negative x squared plus two x. Okay, take x out. If I take x out, it's gonna be negative x minus two. So look, when x and I set y equal to zero, means x equal to zero and x equal to two. Be uh, x equal to negative two. Oh, oh no, no, no. If I take, no, no, this is plus, minus, and this is plus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. So x equal to 0, and another thing is going to be x equal to 2. So our x and I said x equal to 0 and 2. But remember, it's going to concave downward. So this graph is going to be like this because of the negative x, uh, coefficient here. So it's going to be like this. Okay. So value of x equal to 2, and the other x equal to 0, 0. So now we want to get the turning point. Turning point means it's going to be here between the 0 and 2, which is going to be somewhere here to 1. So x at turning point is going to be 1. And if you want to get y at turning point, so I can substitute in a of the 2. So let me substitute here. If we take 1, substitute is going to be 1 squared. So even y at turning point is going to be equal to 1 because at the turning points, they both intersect. I'm sorry about my drawing. Let me draw like this. Oh my god. Sorry. I think you understand what I mean. Okay, so it's going to be 1, 1. Because at turning point, they both intersect. Okay. So we have all the point of intersection, which we're going to use it as a limit in this case. You see the first question, they, did, they give you everything, but now, so the area closes here that we're looking for. So you can draw a little stripe here, say, okay, so this is changing x. You see? So now we're going to say integral, start from 0 to, see where the region, where the closes, start from 0 all the way to x equal to 1. Okay, which graph is on top? The graph is on top is this one, which is 2x minus x squared. So this will be 2x minus x squared minus, okay, the graph which is at the bottom. So you only look at the enclosed area and they look which is on top and which is at the bottom. At the bottom here, x squared, in enclosed area, so dx. How do they know this? Because first of all, you have to write the formula because with the formula, that's how you get the mark. So you write your formula face on top, and then write this. So now we can just separate. So negative x minus x is going to be negative two x. So then this is going to be integral zero. Um, okay, let me just show some people some time. Okay, two x minus two x squared dx. Okay, now we can integrate straight away. So uh, if you integrate straight away, two is going to go back for the face on. So we're going to say uh, integral of x. Integral of x, when you, this is going to be x squared over 2. Okay? You understand what is happening here? And they say, dear, oh, let me show you a step. Some people sometimes, you know, some people don't know the step. So let me show you a step as long as we go fast. So say, okay, take 2 out, 0. Okay? And then you go 1, and they say x dx. Take 2 out, integral, because the integral for the first one, integral for the second one, x squared dx. Now what happened then? Okay, this power 1, from the power of integration, you add one, which is going to be x squared. So this is going to be x squared over two. But remember, we have a two here outside. 
Okay, now minus, minus. We have a 2, 2. This is x squared plus 1 is going to be x cubed over 3. So now we say 2 and 2 cancel. So you have a x squared minus 2 over 3x cubed. But we still have a limit start from 0 to 1. So for that case, now we can substitute the upper limit minus lower limit. What is the upper limit? 1. So it's going to say 1. Okay. Substitute here 1. It's going to be uh, 1 square equal to 1 minus 2 over 3. 1 cube equal to 1. So it's going to be 1 minus 2 over 3. So it's going to be 1 minus 2 over 3. This is upper limit minus lower limit. If you put 0, it's going to be 0 here. And the 0 here is going to be everything 0. So finally, 1 minus 2 over 3 equal to 1 over 3. So the question, unit square. Because this is area. Okay, but for volume, we say unit cube. Okay, now let's go to the question number three. Question number three, easy. Okay. Question number three. So question number three, they say, find the approximate area of the region bounded by the curve. This one and the who? Okay, now this is very tricky. It's not easy, this one will show you, but it's doable, okay. So what we're gonna do first, uh, we're gonna say, let's draw a rough sketch. So sometimes to find the point of the section, it can be very complex, you know? Now we go. So this one here, we know we can draw the graph because look, it's like x power four minus x, y2. x intercept, you know you're going to put x out, x cubed minus x equal to 0. When x intercept, y equal to 0. So x we know is going to cut at 0, and then this is going to be x cubed minus, or minus 1, my problem, minus 1, x cubed minus 1 equal to 0. So we can also get this because this is going to go over, so it's going to be x cubed equal to 1, cubed root cubed. So we're going to have a 3 value of 1, 1, 1, 1. It's kind of repeat. So we know it's going to cut at somewhere here. And another point is going to be at zero. So we can draw this, it's going to be like this. I know how to draw it. Okay, so this is x power 4. For this case, because we're going to cut two points. Now, let's go for the other one. So this is going to be the graph of y equal to x power 4 minus x. Now we go for the other one. The other one is x over that one. Okay, so this, okay, when, okay so this one, Okay, y, x, x squared plus 1. When x is set to y equal to 0, so it's like x over x squared plus 1. So this is going to come here, it's going to become 0. The 0 times anything is 0. So it's going to be x equal to 0. So 0 equal to x. x equal to, so we know it's going to cut at 0. So, let me show you now. The nature of this graph is going to be like this. You see? That's how it's going to be the nature of the graph. Yeah, like this, yeah, let's do like this, Shoot. Like this. Okay, cool. Now, let's go. Let me just execute this quick. So now, uh, so the first point, like area, equal to integral. The first point you know is going to be equal to zero. So to get another one here is very, very tricky for you to know the inner set because for you to know the point of intersection, you have to equate this to graph. But when you equate this and that, it's not easy to solve that. So you can use a computational a calculation or you can use a calculator. It's going to give you, or you can just use a graph on the internet. It's going to give you the, another point of intersection, which is going to be here, which is 1.18. 1 1.18, I believe so. Yeah, 1.18. You can try to do that. Okay, 1.18. So if that were 1.18, excuse me. Yeah, 1.18. Okay, I just want to make sure. So it's 1.18. Now, upper graph. First, you write your formula. So you write, okay, 0 to 1 point means the region closes this one here. The graph and the other graph. So originally closes this one. This here. But what you do, you just draw only a single stripe. You don't need to shade everything. Just draw something like this. So this is our region, and they can say x. You see what I'm saying? Okay, take my pen here. So, oh, 
or if you don't want to do that, you can just say uh, all this region. It's no problem. However you want. Either you can draw strat, or you can say all this region. So then the next step, what I'm going to do is, okay, formula. These are formula. You write your formula here. A equal to integral A, B, and then write your f of x, minus g of x, d of x. Okay, so now f of x is the graph is on top. On top, we see on top, it is on right here. Which is on top? On top for this case is going to be this one right here. This, which is x. And then here's going to be x squared plus 1, but here's q dx. We minus the graph of the next one, which is going to be x power 4 minus x. x power 4 minus x, dx. So now area equal. Uh, here we can use substitution to solve this question, integral by substitution. So I'm going to let here, this side here, okay, let's start with this side. Because, okay, let's start with this one. Uh, which is, is good to start, easier or harder? Okay, let's do everything. Okay, let me let. For this part here, u equal to uh, x squared plus 1. When I differentiate, this is going to be du, and this is going to be 2x dx divided by 2, and then divided by 2. It's in this constant. x dx equal to du over 2. So this x dx equal to du over 2. So now I'm going to replace there, say area equal for this part here, right? So it's going to be area equal to integral, okay? Okay, u equal to x squared plus 1, du, so, okay, so we know integral. Instead of say x dx, I'll say du over 2, over 2. And this is going to be 1 over square root of u. Okay? And the minus, minus integral, 0 to 1.18. Integral, now this is going to be x power 4, but about power rule means you add 1 and then you over, same number. So it's going to be, uh, I can integrate straight away. Uh, let me just show some people here that don't understand what is happening. Okay, power 4 and there's a dx, negative, negative, positive. So integral of x dx 0 times uh, to 1.18 and then 0 0.1.18 so what we're going to do here this one u square root i can take to the top it's going to be u a half and then we can okay it's going to be like this 1 over u a half but take, okay 1 over u a half take this to the top it's going to be u negative a half so all this stuff you can rewrite and say integral of u negative a half integral of u negative a half and then I can do power rule. But in exam, make sure you show all these stuff, okay? All these steps. So power rule, because this is the integral of the power. Add by one and then divide by the same thing. Negative half plus one equal to a half. So it's gonna become positive half and then you over the same thing. So we're not gonna write integral anymore and then we over the same thing, which is a half. And remember, you had a two before. My goodness, I do a lot of things here. Some people may not understand. Let's do it like this, okay? It was integral. Okay, x dx equal to du over two, du over two. So let me take this a half at the back, one over two, and then let me now write this. Okay? So now one over one over square root of u. But what is square root of u is u a half. You see what I'm saying? And then I can take this to the top. U half is gonna become u negative a half. But show all this separate, right? it's gonna become u negative a half. So here we can integrate easy because I'm gonna add by one and then divide by one. So now I'm gonna say area equal to we still have a half a half of size, and this could be uh, u negative half plus one is going to be u a half, but a u a half is like square root of u over a half still here at the back. Because look, when you add one here, the power rule is going to become a half u, and then you add, you divide by the same thing a half. That's why I wrote like this, but uh, u a half equal to square root of u. Cool, we got it. So don't, okay, so now since you, you use u, so your limit is not going to be 1.18 because this 1.18 is the limit of x. So if you want to use here, remember here we got our stuff, right? We need to finish here. So if you're using u here, so look, look, this and this cancel, so nothing. So it's like square root of u alone. So I can just leave square root of u, but I show all these steps. So now I'm not just square root of u. So now if I want to use the limit of u, for example, then I have to come and change here. If x is 1.18, substitute here, look, u equal to 1.180 square plus 1. And this is going to be 2.39. So it's going to become 0 to 2.39. 3, 9. Why do I say 0? Because if I put 0 here, it's going to be uh, u equal to 0 plus 1 equal to 1. No, not 0. It's going to be 1 here. So if I want to use the limit of u and finish my question here, then I have to use 1 to 2.39. But if I don't want to use that, okay, let me just write here first. This is going to be x5 over 5. Let me see first if it does record and it capture everything. Yeah, it does capture. Okay. So this is going to be x5 over 5, but since this is a limit of x, 0.1.180, plus x squared, because this power 1 plus 1 equal to x squared, over 2, 0 to 1.18, okay? 
So now if I want to use the limit of u here, I can just plug here. Uh, and I say area equal to 2.29 like this. Look, 2.29, 2.39 minus 1 minus, um, okay, 2.29 upper limit minus lower limit is going to be square root of what? 1. If I don't want to use u, I can do this. Look, let me just show you quick. I can substitute back the value of x. Means instead of u, I know the value of u, x squared plus 1. So I can say, okay, I can just say this is like x squared plus 1. And this limit now has to go back to 0 to 1.18. So everything is going to be x now. And then you're going to go upper limit minus lower limit, which is going to give you the same answer. So what is upper limit here? It's going to be 1.18. So a equal to 1.180, 1.180 squared plus 1. It's upper limit here, minus lower limit, put zero here. It's going to become zero. Plus one equal to square root of one. Square root of one is equal to one. So I can just say one. Minus. Now we come here. Put 1.18. 1.18 power 5 is going to be 1.180 power 5 over 5. Minus lower limit. Lower limit is going to be just zero. So zero over zero equal to zero. So it's like minus zero, which is going to be the same thing here. Plus. Is just going to be 1.180 over 2, but a square minus, when you put 0 here, it's going to be 0. Everything. So I don't need this 0. But you can plug very slow. I believe you know how to plug in definite integral. If you don't know, let me know. And I can make a video about definite integral. So what you do now, plug in a calculator. When you plug in a calculator, finally, it's going to give you, uh, in approximation, uh, it's going to give you, our final answer is going to be, I don't want to miss it. So our final answer is going to be, Equal area. Oh my god. Okay, let me just say here. Let me write here. Got an answer. Area equal or approximate equal to uh, 0 0.785. 0 0.785 unit square. Unit square. You know why we say unit square? Because is area now let's go to the last question which i'm going to show you about absolute okay area and how to solve the absolute Okay, cool. Now let's go for the last question here. Okay, cool. Very good. That's clean. Fresh and clean. Okay. Question number four. Now, the question for the say, find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equal to sine x and y equal to cos x from 0 to power 2. Okay, 0 to power 2. So now, uh, let's do a rough sketch here. I'm going to say this our graph. All the way to, okay, uh, 0 to pi. So what is pi? Pi means 90 because pi means 180. So 180 divided by 2 equal to 90. So they want to graph start from zero all the way to 90. Let's say this power two. That's what I want. Oh, let's, yeah, power two. Let's, let's, let's say here, yeah. Power two. So now let's draw a graph. So the graph of sine x, okay, sine x, look, y equals sine x. Now, when x intercepts, y equals to zero. I don't have to waste a lot of time like that. I can just put it straight away. Now we go. So graph of sine is always start from the origin because when x equal to zero, put zero here, y equal to zero. So this graph is gonna go like this. Because graph of sine is always go like this, to 180, all the way to 180. Okay, but I don't wanna go all the way because they say we have to stop at 90. But it goes like that, to 180, let's say. But we don't need 180, our graph is gonna stop only here, to zero two. Now, the graph of cos of x, cos is always cut to one because when you plug zero, value of x equal to zero, it's going to be cos of zero. Cos of zero equal to uh, one. 
equals to 0 equal to 1, so this graph is going to go like this. And then, yeah, it's going to go like this. Because we know, uh, yeah, we know when pi equal to 90, cos of 90 equal to 0. So this graph, you can plug in the calculator, you see, that's how you go. Okay, so for that case now, this is going to be pi over 2, pi over 4. A half is going to be quarter, enemy. Anyway, I mean, it's going to be equal to quarter. Pi over 4. Okay, now, so the area enclosed here, look, we don't want a lot of things. We just want the area enclosed. Okay, let me label my equation. So this is going to be sine x, and this is going to be cos x. Y equals cos x. So the area enclosed between the two graph here is going to be, look, this is cos x, this is sine x, so the area enclosed is going to be somewhere here. This area, that's what they want. And the area closed is going to be here. But we only stop at 90. We don't want to go like 2, 5, all this stuff. So these are two area enclosed. So for that case now, you see now, like, okay, so my question I have for you. So which graph is on top in this enclosed area? If you look at this portion here, we see cos is on top, sine is at the bottom. But if you look at the other part from pi to pi over 2, the sine is on top cos is at the bottom. Hmm. So now which is going to be on top, which is going to be at the bottom. So now this is when we use the absolute. Because you know whenever, if somebody gives negative 2 absolute, the final meaning means this is equal to 2. Anything comes from the absolute is positive. Either it's positive itself or negative. So the reason I'm doing that because we have a two side here of the face party where the face one is on top and the second part the second one is on top so now when you apply your area formula for this case that's what you have to use the absolute how so i'm going to say area for this case area equal to integral a to b and then i'm going to say f of x minus g of x and then i must put the absolute this sign here this is absolute not like that you see this is just to show you but absolute is like this so absolute they say dx. So now and then how are we gonna do that? So for that case now we're gonna say I can rather just say oh uh, okay so just say area and then what is a where it start zero and where it finish pi over two and then I can just say cos of x minus sine of x and then I'm gonna write my absolute and they say dx now show me now how you're going to integrate that so now we're going to have to have two parts for this case the first part we're going to say area means you're going to have area one means the total answer is going to be area one here plus area two so how are we going to do that now we're going to say integral start from zero to pi over two because that's what the face region at so like say this is area one and say this is area two because they say you have to stop at pi equal to 2. So we're going to say 0 for area 1 it will be pi 2 4 and which graph would you tap? The top one is cos. Oh so the top one is cos minus which one is the bottom? The bottom one so I can say fx the face one is on top the bottom one is sine dx. So we don't need absolute means I break that absolute now in a sh okay now so we're going to have to add, so instead of writing the absolute now, this is the meaning of that. Integral, oh my god, okay, plus, the space is not going to be enough, so I'm going to write here. Plus, uh, okay, integral. Now, we start from pi over 2. Let me see if it does capture face, because I want to make sure it captures, yeah, it does capture, okay. Pi over 4, start from there to pi over 2. Okay, now, which is on top here? sine of x is on top minus okay the one is at the bottom is cos x for this case dx so what we're going to do now let's integrate so integrate it so i'm going to raise this because now i know what is happening so i can just continue Okay, so then I'm gonna say area equal, I can integrate here. When you integrate cos, 
you get sun. And then you have a negative negative. But when you integrate sine, you get negative cos. Negative cos. But negative negative is going to give us positive. It's like possible, positive cos. Now we go for the next one. Plus, big plus. When you integrate sine, you get negative cos. So here is going to be negative cos. But remember, we have to write our limit. Let me write like this. What is the limit for the first one? 0 to power 4. So 0 to power 4. Plus, plus. Now, this negative cos. Okay, let's do that, please. Negative cos. Okay. When you, uh, when you integrate sine, you get negative cos. Minus, minus. When you integrate cos, you get sine. But now, our limit for this case is pi over 4 to pi over 2 to a half. So now what we're going to do, substitute the upper limit minus lower limit. So area we're looking for equal to pi over 4. Pi over 4 is like 45. So sine of 45, you know, square root of 2 over 2. Okay, plus plug in upper limit. Cos of uh, 45 also square root of 2 over 2 as well. Okay, so this is like upper limit minus. Now, if you plug a 0 here, 0, sine of 0 go to 0. So just a 0. I'm not going to write anything. Cos of 0 go to 1, so here we have a 1. So we done with the first part. Now we plus. Now we come here. Uh, cos of 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Now mm, there's a minus here inside, excuse me. Minus, okay. Now we come here. Sign of minus, sign of 45 also square root of 2 over, over 2. Now, oh, I'm wrong. Apologies, 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 apologies. This is now for 5 is power for 2. So we're going to plug in here. It's going to be minus cos of cos of uh, 90. Cos of 90 equal to 0. So this is 0. No one write anything. Sine of 90 equal to 1. So it's going to be negative 1. So we're done with the upper limit. Now we go for the lower limit. So always upper limit. Take this substitute and then all the answer minus. Now lower limit. Negative, negative. Okay. Cos of um, cos of 45, so minus, okay, my okay, upper limit, so we done with upper limit, minus, lower limit, there's a lower limit, we substitute here, so negative, cos of 45 equal to, square root of 2 over, over 2, now minus, sine of 45 also square root of 2 over, over 2, so now, uh, simplify this, this and this going to be negative, simplify all of this, going to be area, equal, plug in the calculator so well, and this is going to give you 2 square root of 2 minus 2. Unit square because this area. Unit square. Okay? And that's going to be the end of the equation. Look, some of you might be first time here in my channel. So if you face time, subscribe here. Excuse me. I hope you learned from how I do things. Don't keep this video for yourself. Share to a lot of people because it's very, very important. When you share to more people, they also learn. Just like the way how you learn, okay? Follow me in the social media. Also, you can follow me, watch my other video. Please leave a comment. I'm gonna respond to your comments. And another thing very important, don't forget to donate, man. You know, you wanna donate one dollar, two dollar, five dollar, ten dollar. Even if you wanna donate one hundred dollar, you can put it in two hundred dollar. I appreciate it. Even say, you know, I wanna give this guy, man, quarter million dollars. You can do the two, man. I appreciate. Don't feel ashamed. One dollar, fifty cent, dollar, ten dollar, twenty. That's gonna help. Thanks a lot. I appreciate. Peace. I'm out.